Good morning. It is a beautiful, beautiful day out here on the mountain. Got the goats over there saying a whole lot this morning. Got Domino right here ready to inspect the progress that's going to go down today. Uh, today we are going to work on all of this wood that I got for the trim and the closet and the bathroom and everything for inside the tiny house. I went ahead and hooked up a 100 pound propane tank to the blowtorch. We need to go ahead and get all of this burnt. On the last video, you seen that I got these two base cabinets for the vanity in the bathroom, and we're gonna go ahead and try to burn the front of that as well. Once we get everything burnt, we're gonna have to do some polyurethane and get everything a little shiny, come on. Ah, so yeah, it's a beautiful day for it though, guys. It's only probably about 65 degrees today. Absolutely gorgeous, clear skies. Domino's ready, I'm ready. <laughs> Let's get at it. It always trips me out guys when I'm burning the wood of how different uh, types of wood and also uh, different stacks of wood come from like different trees and stuff like that. How Alright so we got the first round done. I'm going to go ahead and stack up some more. I am going to do a couple of the 2x4s, not all of them. I only need a few of them done. And I'm also going to do this piece right here because that's going to end up being the floating shelf that's going behind the air conditioner. And also we got to go ahead and get a little set up right here for the polyurethane like I did before. That way I can lay them all out and then polyurethane them all at one time. Domino's still out there enjoying the beautiful day. Let's keep getting it guys. we made some progress that's a whole lot of burnt wood I got everything from two by fours to a one by six to some one by fours we got it though I'm gonna let it all cool down for about 30 minutes and then I'll break out the polyurethane we'll go ahead and get a coat of polyurethane on here and that way it can start drying making progress today guys all right it's all cooled off enough I got the polyurethane I got a roller a little liner in there we'll go ahead and fill that up and go ahead and get this polyurethane i love how rich it makes the wood after you throw the polyurethane on there it really brings out the grain and the burnt look to it it's gonna look good let's get started
All right, guys, got the first coat of poly on there. Turned out pretty good. Uh, now it's time for me to do something I've been trying to avoid all day. It is time to burn the cabinets and see if that's going to work. Let's do it. All right, I'm thinking it's going to turn out pretty good. I'm hoping so anyways. If it doesn't, well, then I guess I'll end up painting them. I will end up having to kind of staple and fix these doors a little bit as you can see they're a little crooked but I want to go ahead and open them just a little bit that way I can get all the way around get any kind of paper and stuff out that might catch on fire all right let's go for it that was a little bit unexpected i didn't realize that the inside was coated with like a wallpaper type stuff that's plastic Ooh, and it's hot so i just went ahead and burned it all off i'm gonna end up painting the inside of them now which is no big deal huh. now i know oh that's kind of rubbery uh. But let's see how it turned out. But I do like the look. I'll have to take a wire brush or something because it didn't burn that great. Kind of scuff it up just a little bit. But I think it turned out all right. Once I polyurethane it, which I won't do until after I get it all cleaned up a little bit, it should look okay. Not too bad not too bad you don't know unless you try guys you don't know unless you try all right guys i'm gonna get that cleaned up and then i'll bring you back and we'll polyurethane it and see how it turns out all right guys off camera i went ahead and put a coat of polyurethane on the cabinets i think they turned out real good i decided to go ahead and leave the drawer top right there a little bit darker just to add some contrast and once i put a handle on there it should make it really really pop and I went ahead and burned out the rest of the 
as you can see I still got the hole right there I'm gonna have to push that in I'm gonna take some clamps push it in see if I can glue it and there will be a piece of wood right here on the inside to hold the middle on the outside so you should never see that but I did go ahead and burn it a little bit on the inside on the particle board just to darken it up a little bit I'm gonna take a wet rag once it all dries wipe it out real good and see what it looks like if I have to I will go ahead and paint inside and I'm definitely going to paint inside the drawers. But all in all, I think it turned out pretty good. Once all the hardware gets on there and the countertop and all of the corrugated metal that I'm going to put on there. And a lot of the little touches that I got planned. I think it's going to end up pulling it all together real, real nice. But I'm going to go ahead and let it all dry overnight. But I just got an alert on my phone that I got a package at the gate. And it's also time for the Drifting Dreamers kids to get out of school. So I'm going to meet Mike down there at his driveway and we're going to go load the package up because it's pretty heavy. If you checked out my last video with all the papers that I just got and also picked up three packages, this is the last package that I've been waiting for for the new build here on Come On Mountain. So let's go grab it. I got my riding partner with me. You ready to go for a ride? I love having a backup camera. Makes my life so much easier. Domino lags to go for truck rides. As soon as he sees me grab my keys, he's following right behind me. Isn't that right, Domino? Yeah? You ready to go? Mike's hiding in the woods thinking that he's being slick, but check this out. Um, buddy, I'm not a deer. I can see Hunter Orange. <laughs> I was, I was, uh, practicing my hunting strategies. I said Mike's hiding under bushes right there, but I see him. <laughs> <laughs> you ready to go get the kiddos? Yeah, it was a pretty good day. We stopped working about 45 minutes ago or so. Got everything done. A lot of progress was made on the landing today. Yeah. A lot of progress made on come on the mountain today, too. The mountain is humming today, guys. Man. It's humming. All right, let's get down there and get this package and pick up some kiddos. All right, guys, the secret is out. This is the last box that I was waiting on. I've got one of the patio well sheds that I'm going to be doing a video on here soon. It's going to be a two part video. I'm going to do a foundation with all those papers that y'all seen me get on the last video. I do it a little bit different than uh, everybody around me that's done it. We've kind of all done it a little bit different. And uh, I used the patio pavers like that to do my uh, redneck outdoor kitchen there in Florida. Or my redneck outdoor laundry mat there in Florida. And it worked out really good. I think it would be a good solution for that without actually having to pour some concrete. Winter's coming and I have those two temporary uh, buildings that I've used. And one I've had since last year and went through a winter already and they've done well but i have seen other people's get destroyed and i have some pretty expensive stuff being stored in there so i do not want to run the risk of that this winter because i got some computer stuff and some food processing stuff in there i'm going to be transferring all of that in there one of the cool things about this one here that i have not seen anybody get yet they're supposed to be sending me some shelving for inside it's good stuff guys let's get it loaded and my elbow is still jacked up so i'm trying to team lift stuff yeah oh yeah box one of four i've already got the other three but i do not see the shelf so i'm gonna have to send an email bills junk mail bills <laughs> nothing good What are you doing? Hi! Hey! What's up, man? Y'all hop in the back. Y'all hop in the very back? Yeah, in the back of the truck. Hey! How was school? Uh, good. Alright, y'all hang on. Oh, you all excited you get to see the kids, His huh? His tail's beating. You're trying to run down there to go play with the kids. Hey, Domino loves the kids. 
Each one of them had to come say, I need to see Domino. <laughs> Domino reminds me of the little dog off the, uh, the mask. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> what was that dog's name? Fido. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. If you know, leave it in the comments. Thank you all for riding on the Come On Mountain Express. Are y'all gonna drift down the drifter's lane? Yeah. Nice. Hi. <laughs> so I heard you wanna be a cheerleader, a ballet, and a gymnast. Awesome. Sounds like you're gonna be busy. <laughs> Hi, Domino. Hi, Daddy. Hey, look at his tail. He's up, buddy. Hi. Hi. Oh. Yeah. Domino. <laughs> Watch that step. First step's the hardest step. Check this out, guys. Now we have got everything that we need to get started on the project. Still missing the shelving for the inside. I'll be contacting them tonight about that, and maybe I can go ahead and get started here soon while I'm waiting on that to come. What do you think? I'm ready to do it. Yep. I'm just happy that I have a little bit of experience working with these. That way I can help you do it and uh, it'll be a little bit smoother than what I did. I'm definitely going to utilize my resources because from what I've seen with all the family that's done this, it's a little tricky. <laughs> so being that he's already done one, he's going to help me out with that. So I'm looking forward to that. I think it's going to work out. What do you think about the paper idea? I think I wish I would have thought of it first because now I want to put some papers down <laughs> under mine. Well, uh, you're about to get some experience with it. All right, guys, I'm going to show him what I did and go ahead and move my truck. Well, there we have it. What you think? I like it. I love some burned wood. I love it. Yeah, some of them burned weird, man. Some of them would not burn in sections. Uh, I put those over there. I'll end up using cut pieces and use them for scrap. But yeah, it's crazy. I was telling them earlier, it's crazy how different wood reacts different to burning yes you know man. same yeah. type of wood just different tree different knots stuff like that yep it it's leaves crazy. a different pattern on everything yeah. uh it'll accept the burn faster or slower on different ones it's it's like a fingerprint what do you think about the cabinets uh, okay heck yeah that looks so much better yeah so much better i think it'll look good when it's all tied in matter of fact do you want to see what it's going to look like we're going to do a little mock-up for you guys real quick. All right, guys. Mike from Drifting Dreamer stopped by last night, so I went ahead and had him help me carry everything in so I could try to dry fit these uh, cabinets and the sink top right here because that sink top is extremely heavy. And we've got a problem. As you can see, the sink is not as wide as what I thought it was, but I was assuming that this countertop was four foot. I figured it was just a standard, but come to find out, It is only 40 inches, which is about eight inches uh, shorter than what I thought it was, which has caused a problem. I have a gap on both sides and up underneath, you can see that the bowl comes out further. If the bowl didn't set up underneath, it wouldn't be an issue, but it does, so it is. So the plan is, is I'm actually going to take a jigsaw, cut down here a little bit, to the width of the sink, which is probably around one inch. Looks like it's about three quarters of an inch. So I'll probably go down about an inch right here, cut all the way across, and you have about two inches of clearance right here above the drawer. And then plus you have a little gap right here of about an inch which is about right there. So the, the sink will end up coming up over the drawer just a little bit right there, but it will not impede the drawer opening and shutting or any of the space inside. 
and that should close the gap here and over there and allow me to shrink this together i've already burnt this so it's not like i could take these back and plus i bought them damaged so it is what it is we're going to make it work that's just one of the problems that you run into whenever you're using something new and using something old i like the challenge but we're going to go ahead and pull all of this stuff out go ahead and get it laid out and grab a jigsaw and go ahead and start jigging come on all right guys mike just came up the hill to bring me his jigga jigga saw jig jig because i don't have one of them there jiggity 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 things you know what i'm saying so i'm going to use the jigsaw to go ahead and cut that inch out that i was telling y'all about in order to slide these cabinets together and make this do what it do but why is here this countertop right here is pretty heavy and the elbow is still a little bit of a broke chicken leg come on <laughs> so i'm gonna go ahead and get some help to go ahead and get this down that way i can lay everything out and go ahead and get this cut and get his jigsaw back to him hopefully this is gonna work guys we don't know until we don't know come on This joker is heavy. Joker heavy, ain't it? Ooh, man, I was a slab. <laughs> that joker is heavy. Now, guys, you can see a little bit better of what I was talking about. I'm just going to go ahead and measure down right here. Put me a nice straight line across there. Get jiggy with it. Cut all this out, and that should allow me to slide. I have a couple inches here that I'm going to slide as much as I can to that pipe right here to open this section up right here. The washing machine will slide that way just a little bit. So it's gonna be a lot bigger of an opening than what you see right there. It's just, I have a lot of stuff in the corner with my makeshift uh, portable, you know, drive-by kitchen, come yeah. on. And then we'll bring this one over here accordingly to what that one is. We got plenty of space right here, but at the same time, I don't wanna close in the toilet area as well. All right, guys, ain't nothing to it but to do it. Let's get it, come on. took a lot more doing than I was expecting. I ended up taking that countertop off probably five different times, making a little cut here, a little cut there uh, to be able to get it shifted. I decided to go ahead and center up with the window. I just felt like it was off and it just did not feel right, which took a whole lot of doing, but I got it. Check that out. I got it pretty much squared up and exactly the way it sets. I'm gonna have to shim this side maybe an eighth of an inch because I'm a little bit off level but not really that much but I do want it to kind of be level so when the water is falling in the sink it doesn't kind of go to one side but it worked out pretty good I got the inspector in here making sure dominant how did it go yeah how is it how's it looking I'll show you what I did there I ended up having to cut quite a bit out of the sides right here but as you can see, the drawer is right there. There's every bit of about two inches in between the sink and the drawer. So when you open it up, you can never even tell that it goes like that. Same on both sides. I do have a big opening right here and right here, but I'm actually gonna put a piece down here like this, bring it back in here and bring it back down here to hide all of this because the drain's also going to end up going over here i had to slide the cabinet cut a whole piece out i kind of as i was 
moving it over I had to cut a little more a little more brought it all the way over to this side so the drain is going to be hidden in here which is fine I will bring it down here I'll probably go back towards the wall and bring it through this side and go in there but I think I'm going to do like a false wall here and kind of hide all of this and then the void space that's in the middle right here I think is where I'm going to put some little custom shelves going down to hold wash rags, mouthwash, all that other kind of stuff. This is going to be just kind of pieced together as I go. Don't really know how all of this is going to work out yet. Plus I'm going to need to paint this in some areas where it's going to be exposed. And I still got to deal with this where it was broken when I bought it. I got to push that back out or cut it out and then add the wood in here that's going to end up catching the decorative sides that I'm going to do on here and also to be able to beefen this up right here to hold the weight of the shelves because this is just some real thin quarter inch particle board so we still got a lot of work to do it's a whole lot of effort but it's going to be completely custom whenever I'm done and I think it's going to turn out pretty good I'm liking the way it looks and I'm also liking the uh the tallness of it where I don't have to bend over so much when I'm brushing my teeth and doing things now my goal is not to fasten it to the wall yet I want to kind of keep it floating I wanted to get it all kind of in place so I could start pulling some measurements to figure out what I'm going to do in here and then I'll kind of start bracing this off and kind of getting it to where it'll stay square whenever I pull it away from the wall I'm still going to have to put the valves on here and I still got to figure out what kind of plumbing nightmare I'm going to have to do to get that to return all the way back into here fun stuff guys fun stuff Domino what do you think is it going good yeah full of puppy right there guys full of puppy all right let's get back at it all right i have decided i had to turn the generator off so the well would go off i decided i'm going to go ahead and put these on and go ahead and try to get everything plumbed i'm going to build the shelving in place and try to figure out a way to do it to where there's a piece that can easily be removed to be able to work on the plumbing if it ever needs it. Go and go. <laughs> Cold's on, no leaks. Got a little dirt in the lines. No leaks. And no leaks. Whew. All right, guys. It has been a long fought battle today. But I've got it all squared up now. It's exactly where it's going to go. All the plumbing is ran. It works really well cold hot all of the above drains good leveled out center with the window so tomorrow we're going to pick back up in the morning and then i'm going to go ahead and start figuring out how i want to go about making the shelving to hide all of this up underneath there but all in all i think it's turning out real good guys i got a lot more work to still do I still got to figure out what I'm going to do on this end piece right here, do my shelving, and the end piece over here as well. Not only I got a two inch gap back here that I'm going to have to deal with as well, be able to extend the backsplash out somehow, and also tie it all in with the window so it all makes sense. So still got a lot of work to do. This is uh, definitely turned into a little bit bigger project than what I thought it was going to be. But you'll have that whenever you're using old and new together or not building it from scratch yourself. But I'm liking how it's turning out so far. I just got to keep on keeping on. See y'all guys in the morning. Come on. Good morning, guys. Well, I actually got to brush my teeth last night like a normal human being in a sink. But nothing's mounted and nothing's nowhere near all the way done. This one right here is a little bit out of plumb, about a half inch. It's kind of sloping down this this way a little bit 
So I got some shims, we're gonna shim it up and then I'm gonna go ahead and mount it to the wall in the back right here. That way we can get a good base where it doesn't move and then I'll start pulling my measurements for the shelving and the part to hide all the plumbing and stuff in the front. It's gonna be a big day guys. Hopefully we are done with this today. Another check mark off the check boxes, come on. I like that. Woohoo! Alright, so that's not too bad. A little bit of gap right there. That won't hurt nothing at all. Let's go ahead and check the front. On the money. On the money. So we can go ahead and screw this one off. Alright, I'm trying out some new screws that I've never tried before. They're supposed to go through anything. Metal, wood, concrete, plastic. Yeah. So we're going to give it a shot because I'm doing metal, wood, maybe even a little plastic in this project. So we're going to use a one screw does all. Let's pull this drawer. That way I got a better visual and I can get one higher up. Not going to lie, it went through pretty nice. I actually like that. But being that I'm going to have it mounted with two screws inside the back of the cabinet and I have some extra long hoses right there, it will allow me to unscrew it from the wall and slide the whole unit forward to be able to access the plumbing in the back. So I think that'll be an easier solution. All right. Time to do the other side. First, let's get the level. Let's see if we need to do any shimity shim shim shim. Oh, this one right here is good to go. Let's check this way. Oh yeah, Ooh. within the lines. We ain't done the Rolex, come on. I like that. All right, we're gonna pull a couple of measurements here to start with. Thanks. Looks like one foot one and a half. One foot one and a half. So it's pretty close. So I'm thinking what I'm going to do is come down right here on the face or maybe right inside the face here. I ain't decided yet. Kind of come back here and then drop it all the way down and then have little shelves up to here, up to this point right here where it's kind of hiding the sink. So the first thing that we're gonna need to do is, I have some one by six, which looks like it'll take me down to about where I need to go. We're Actually, I have a one by eight, which would definitely take me down as low as I need to go. And that could be my first piece that goes across there, and then we can kick it back and then go back down. I think that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna come here, we're gonna get our measurement right here at the eight inch mark. And then, one foot one and a half, we'll cut that. I'm gonna insert it in the back first, so I'm gonna cut it a little bit long because I wanna see what it looks like with that little bit of void right there. All Maybe right. I could do something kind of creative there, but I won't know until I look at it. If I don't like it, then I would just trim the little bit off to be able to flush mount. Mm -hmm. Now this right here is the piece that I was talking about. Marker. We're gonna go 13 and a half inches. Put a little mark. We'll take this over to the chop saw so we can get that cut. What I hope is not going to be a problem. It looks like this thing's bellied like a little bit of a U shape. Hopefully, I can pull that out of there with some screws without actually messing anything up. Let's check it out. All right, let's go ahead and slide it up into place. I'm not gonna lie, I like it. 
like it. That looks nice. I like it. Domino! All right, also in my design, I have two different types of metals. I'm trying to figure out which one I go with. I'm thinking, do you have the tape measure out here? Yes. I think I'm gonna go with this rusted patina old metal that I got here. And it is definitely long enough to do what I need it to do, or wide enough to do what I need it to do. It's really just about how it's gonna look. It's pretty uh, patinaed. I kinda wanna, Take some sandpaper here. And just kind of clean it up a little bit and see what it's going to look like. I need something that's wet. First thing I'm going to do is wipe it down and kind of see what it looks like. gonna do a small section right now then we'll go and uh, install that piece that Mike just cut while this dries it will give me a better representation that's a tongue twister <laughs> what it's gonna look like I think I'm gonna like it what, what's your opinion there Mike uh well it's definitely goes with the design that you already have so I think it should turn out exactly what we're looking for well I was trying to get the shower to look like this that's why I put all those chemicals on there before. Right. And it's starting to finally turn now that it's being used every day. But it's a slow process. And using it as the backer. Oh. And then flipping this down like so. And have metal backing. What a nice shelf. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm picking that up now. So you would just screw the metal into the wood? Yeah, just have that, just, just put one here, screw it into each side there, right here where this one is. Yep. Do another one in the middle and one at the bottom, and then cut a piece to go perfectly in there. Okay, okay. And because right here is a lot of burn. Right. So if you throw that patinaed metal That's in there, pop at you. as far as the back shelves, it'll give it a little Okay. I'm thinking that's going to be worth the effort. And then you make my shelves out of something like this. Okay. That way it's patina, wood, patina, wood, patina, wood. Yeah. And then also the sides will be capped with the patina metal. Ah, and it ties and then in. And I'm probably going to do the backsplash as well. Okay. That'll tie in the shower with the sink. It's a little bit more work, a little bit more effort, but I think it, it's, it's worth it. I like it. Let's do it. Alright, I do like the way that it turned out. What do you think? Yeah, that's nice. I mean, you could clear coat it and give it a little bit of shine, and I, there's no need for me to do the ones that's going to be hidden behind the cabinets like that, the shelving. But the ones on the side, after I put them up, if I want it to stand out a little bit more, I might get some of that spray paint that's clear and just clear coat it a little bit, mm. which will also help stop the rusting process so it doesn't get worse. Right, okay. All right, so we got our 28 inches. Now we need to do 13 and a, a half, but we're gonna cut it a little bit short. Cut the line. 
I want to kind of see where it falls. Looks like it's going to, that'll work out right there. I will cut this line right here and keep the low. That way it sets down and have something good to screw with. So we're going to cut it right here. Go ahead and down here. And we're going to cut the low right here. Okay. Let me see your level there. It'd be easier with the level on this one. pretty much know what I want here I just want a reference line a big shout out to SLR old simple life for clean they got me these uh handy saw horses here for Christmas and oh I remember these yeah these are the ones that fold out automatically yep and uh man they work great Hopefully I can get enough off this little wheel that's on here without having to switch wheels. I was just wondering if you were going to switch them or not. Let's check this out. Oh yeah. Let me give you a little perspective. Ah. Something like that. Okay, I got you. I like that. Look at how clean that is. Fits right in there. That looks, man, that looks so amazing. We're gonna go ahead and get this painted up nicely. We're already shaking the paint up a good bit. All right, guys, Mike got it painted. It looks good. It gives us some depth. Now, all we got to do is put the two shelves in there. While Mike was painting, I was trying to come up with a solution back here to where the countertop doesn't go all the way back to the wall. It's almost two inches. I'm able to shim it like that. And then what I'm going to do is take a one by four and I'm going to put it on like that and make a little shelf looks real good there and then when i trim out this window right here i'm gonna have one by fours that go down and kind of connect everything and right here rather i'm gonna put some metal across there like we did in the front in between this void and the lip for the window seal or i will come up with another piece of wood right there i could even paint it honestly black if i wanted to but uh we'll see what it looks like we're gonna go ahead and get the two shelves put in I got some liquid nail in the caulking gun. We're going to go ahead and nail the countertop done as soon as I get done with the shelving. That way it can be drying and sticking and then we'll start working on this back piece right here. Then all we got to do is put that in, trim around the window right here. I need to caulk and finish sealing right around there. I will put my casing around there, get that situated and then we're going to cut two pieces of metal on the sides. We're getting there. What do you think, guys? Show show the people. Dang, look at that. Got a nice shelf up top. Nice and tight all the way around. All the way at the bottom, all the way. Heck yeah. Woo! Now I'm picking up what you're putting down with the cake plate. Oh yeah. Oh man. Nice. 
All right, the next step that we need to do is we need to go ahead and glue it before I start setting this backsplash right here because once I set that, this thing's actually going to be pretty much locked into place. So, all in all, my vision is coming to life. I like it. I like it a lot. Just like butter. I got it up on there and also sealed it right there. I'm going to use a different type of silicone to seal this seam right here. Once we get all this put together, that way no water can get down in there. Right, guys this is already laid out I just got through doing it for the end caps for the cabinet we do got some holes and stuff right here which I think is gonna show up with the particle board back there but probably what we'll do is take that paintbrush with a paint stick it up there kind of see where it's at and just paint black behind it so whenever we put it up against there it wasn't it won't show <laughs> This looks amazing! Do you like it? I like it. it. Man, it looks so, so awesome. Like you bought it right out the box, just like this. I actually got some uh, little corner trim that I will probably uh, put right here just to seal this edge up right here to give it more of a finished look. But I know you're getting hungry and we got one more side to cut in. So I'll do that after you go eat. Nice. Appreciate it. Hey, smashed it. <laughs> All right, guys, here's the little corner B trim I was talking about. Gonna tie it right into the wall, and make it look real good. Wow, what a transformation. I'm gonna do a little bit of touch up paint with the black on some of these edges right here. Like right here where I had to cut. That turned out good. Look sealed it right in i'll do the touch-up paint i'll clean up the area real good and bring in a little bit better light so you can really see the finished project but i am amazed with how it turned out i still need to paint inside the cabinets and the drawers and i still need to take the one drawer out and glue it and kind of clamp it together to fix it part of the why i got a discount on there this total project guys only cost me a hundred dollars that was for the two 12 inch cabinets that i bought 
that were damaged because I got them half price. Everything else was reused from here and gifted from Betty Boo, the countertop. But there you have it, guys. It turned out amazing. I ended up having a nice little shelf right here that you could put your cologne or if you're a woman. Uh, makeup, night creams, all of that other stuff on. That was my solution to be able to fix the two inch gap right here where the countertop wasn't as wide as the base cabinets was right here. Next time I go to town, I'm going to get some black caulking and caulk this seal right here so no water can get behind there. But I don't have, I have just about every color except for black, and I think black would be the best option for right there. So I will seal that. I cased out the window. Got all of that in there nice burnt. And then I went ahead and put another piece right here as a backsplash in between that. I just didn't like the way the white looked. I wanted to kind of carry it through where it kind of looked like it was a one piece that kind of came down. And the front turned out amazing. You can see the patina in there you can see the patina metal in there turned out good got two shelves the kick plate turned out good at the bottom and over here on the side I took some of the black paint and painted the edges right here that right there turned out really really good the little corner bead trim that I put in there tied that in real nicely looks really really good I am gonna wipe this down real good and I'm probably gonna seal it with a clear but that turned out amazing still got plenty of room to get in between here to go to the toilet it actually defines this toilet area a little bit I got a couple of really cool ideals to kind of bring this into this area. Kind of do a feature wall back here with some storage and stuff for the toiletries. I like it. And then over here on this side, I still got plenty of room to access the door right here. This washing machine is actually going to slide this way just a little bit once the dryer's in there because that's a lot wider space. Than what the dryer actually needs and i will be putting some cabinets up above the washer and dryer and giving it this same type of uh, look right here to tie it all in and with that it also matches the shower and as you can see the shower is finally starting to patina a little bit so once that gets done it's going to look real good and tie all in i still got to do all of the trim and baseboards around burned and polyurethane out there that will be the next project that i'm working on this is the way the other side turned out i love the different rust patterns and stuff it really gives it a lot of character works like a champ Guys, I can't tell you how excited I am to have a working bathroom sink to where I can brush my teeth and uh, shave and do everything that I need to do without having to use the almighty hand pump right here. It served me good for the last year and a half, but man, I'm ready to be able to just turn the water on and brush my teeth. With burning, staining, and polyurethane and all that took one day being able to uh, cut and customize these two 12 inch cabinets to fit the sink being that it was a little bit smaller even though that worked out great i'm glad it was smaller still got a little bit of glue right here that i need to take a razor blade and get up but that's no big deal so three days and i've only got a hundred dollars invested in this project thanks to betty boo for gifting me the countertop itself and i paid fifty dollars for each of the broke 12 inch cabinets everything else came from here on the homestead and it worked out really really good well let me know in the comments guys of what y'all think and how do y'all think it turned out i'm gonna end up getting some blinds as well i have a whole stack of stuff over here that subscribers has got me and stuff that i got from hobby lobby and as you can see it goes with the theme of that right there 
I think it's going to tie it all in. So yeah, definitely let me know in the comments of what you think. We got a whole lot more going on, guys. A whole lot more to come. We are just getting started in here. There's still a lot of detail work that needs to happen on the inside to finish out this part of it before we move to the pump house right there. And also I've decided to expand the footprint of the tiny house a little bit more. We'll get into that later. So make sure that you like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Y'all don't want to miss it, guys. <sighs> it's definitely an adventure. So until we see each other again, guys, come on. Hey, let's go on another adventure. Mm -hmm.